And just about to get underway as the starting fives have been announced. Sit tight. We'll be back in just a moment. It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg. And we'll have David Aldridge filling us in from the sideline. And the Clippers starting five. George and Leonard are the forwards. Harden out there with Russell Westbrook. And it's Zubat in at the five spot. And for Dallas, the star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Williams is out there with Derek Jones. And it's Lively in at the pivot spot, manning the middle. Well, we're clearly in the very early stages of the season. Uh, Clark, in your playing days, how important was it that your team got off to a good start? Hey, look, you want to start well. There's no denying that. But it always isn't about wins and losses. It's about how you're playing early on and also what kind of chemistry and habits are you establishing for the long run. Now, here's Westbrook. Now the pass to Leonard. He dishes it to Harden. Kicks it out to Leonard. Good on the triple. Nice find right there from Harden. Excellent at getting his teammates involved. Irving against Harden. Irving passes to Lively. Doncic outside. Puts up a three. With the putback. He hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Oh, a nice tip in to salvage the points from that missed shot. Yeah, and those second chance points can add up. And if you're the defensive team, it just kills you to give up baskets like that. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Well, this early, they should be showing a lot more energy on defense. It's not there. Now, here's Doncic coming off a stellar performance against New Orleans. Not quite enough defense. That time around, just lucky he was off. And what a treat for the fans and for us to be able to witness a talent like Luka Doncic. Amen and amen to that, Kevin. A generational talent. All eyes are on him when he's on the floor. Hard not to keep your eyes on him. He's so special in everything that he does. And every night he performs, you walk away just shaking your head at how good he is. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And the first one drops. And what I love about Paul George, the production year after year after year. And both free throws good for Paul George. Already a very confident player. Knocking down those free throws only fuels that. Anjic passes to Williams. The shot, no good. Great D that time from Leonard. And pushing it up, here's Los Angeles. Harden with it. He's picked up by Doncic. And Harden with the basket on the assist from Leonard. Attacking in transition, the most consistent way to generate easy looks. Yep, exactly. And if there's any opportunity for early offense, you've got to push it and push it every time. In terms of finishing ability, it's hard to think of someone who tops Kyrie Irving. Greg, the list is short, particularly when you talk about guys of his size, okay? His bag of tricks is limitless when you talk about finishing in close quarters against bigger guys. There are a few that are in his class in that regard. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one at the line is good. Tell you, it's so amazing to see how much raw talent Kyrie Irving has. Just seems like that ball is part of it. Kyrie, 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 Kyrie. 
Both free throws good from Kyrie Irving. And Clark, here we are watching Kyrie Irving when he's on. It is amazing to watch. Remarkably smooth as an athlete, Kevin, and otherworldly when you look at his skills as a basketball player, particularly ball handling and shot making. Talking pure basketball, uh, he's one of the most entertaining players of the last 30 years for sure. Here's Lively. James Harden picking up that last basket. And here's Irving. Averaging 23 points a game and is one of the more consistent producers on any given night. First quarter of ball, almost two and a half minutes in. Harden dishes to Leonard. Over Irving. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. Boy, he's got to be kicking himself for failing to make that shot. That's money. Pass to Lively. Here's Jones. 107 left in the first quarter. Six to shoot. Doncic outside. Buries it from three-point range. Doncic always ready to let it fly once he catches it. Los Angeles leading by four. And the Clippers decide to take their first timeout here. Every timeout, a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. Yeah, and I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. And it's a completely new group on the floor for the Mavericks. Big group substitution here for the Clippers. P.J. Tucker, he's checked in for Zubox. Mann comes in for George. Powell, he's checked in for James Harden. And Bones Island subbed in for Russell Westbrook. Here's Hardaway. After the made shot from Norman Powell, Hardaway goes in. Bucket is good. Tip your hat to Hardaway Jr. there, guys. I mean, even in the face of aggressive defense, he stays focused and delivers. Curry against Highland. The Mavericks pull it in. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. Yeah, it was all hands on deck. Helps to get points off the bench when you're on the road. Absolutely, especially on the road when you need those guys off the bench to up the ante. Now here's Paul. Looking at his numbers, he's averaging about uh, six and a half points a game. A shot by Curry, no good. Boy, great effort on defense there against a guy who typically makes that. Oh, and the jam by Leonard. And throw it down, Kawhi. That was nasty. Love watching him go hard and attacking with power. And so it's Los Angeles with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We come back right after this. And for those of you just tuning in, the second quarter of action is where we're at right now. And a moment now to quickly take a look at the offensive approach for the Clippers. And right from the jump, they've been working hard to establish themselves inside, using agility and power to get shots in the paint. One other thing they've done really well, moving the ball around. They've done a nice job not settling for that initial option and making that extra pass. Taking a look at Los Angeles. Powell is out there with Bones Highland. Then there's Kawhi Leonard. Then it's P.J. Tucker. And it's Mann in at the small forward spot. Back to Williams. From deep green. 
Rebounded by Tucker. And so it's Highland who brings the ball up for the Los Angeles Clippers. Six-point lead. And the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Thanks very much. Now, the Mavericks' all-time great Dirk Nowitzki this summer was enshrined in the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame and received a huge statue outside the Mavericks arena. The iconic one-legged fadeaway immortalized in bronze. Inscribed on the base, loyalty never fades away. 21 letters, one for each of his 21 seasons playing in Dallas. Kevin? Isn't that something? Great stuff, DA. Thank you. Curry deciding where to go with it. And we've heard defensive-minded players, Greg, say, man, everything is a foul nowadays. You can't even touch the guy. You can't defend. Uh, do they have a point? It's getting tough, isn't it? I mean, you can't use your hands. You have to be set. It's almost like they want defenders to be traffic cones. Los Angeles calls timeout. They come into this one following the loss to the Grizzlies. And guys, you just can't afford to give away points from the foul line. Not in the NBA. Teams are just too talented. Yeah, and you know, to come up short at the line is frustrating because that's controllable and it's actually a free throw. So you feel like you leave loose change out there when you don't convert. teams deciding to change it up and let's check out the stats for Westbrook he had a strong showing last season he averaged about 16 points a game seven assists and five rebounds and his playmaking really stands out making his teammates better offensively with his terrific passing yeah he's outstanding at controlling the tempo I mean keeps the ball moving and of course finds the open man and another shot that one's off he starts the game with a miss I think he'll think twice about attempting that shot next time. The defense was right on top of him there. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. They get Russell Westbrook. Look, I know he runs the point, but boy, can Doncic go to work inside. For Dallas, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. And they've been ordinary on the season as well, just about 75% from the line. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. One of the things that's really impressive about Luka Doncic, and he's already a star, is his continued growth. I mean, season to season, you see this guy working on himself, working on his mind, how he thinks the game and his body, and becoming a better athlete. That spells trouble for the league. All three throws good from Doncic. The Clippers in the lead. Harden scanning the floor. And that one, good. Harden's got eight. Harden is a guy that seeks out contact, and he's really adept at finishing through it. And as James Harden has gotten older, Clark, he's made it clear he wants to contend for title. And that's a typical progression for a player. You can't blame him. I mean, he's done just about everything you can do individually. He's aware of the fact that a championship would add to his career immeasurably. Here's Tucker. 
Here's Zubats and the dunk by Zubats. And when he's on the floor, offensive rebounding is always going to be a strength for them. Greg, he keeps so many possessions alive, doesn't he? And you know, those second chance opportunities can be game changing. He represents so much value to this team because of what he does. Williams can't hit. A slight advantage for them in the rebound department, but that oftentimes is all it takes. Especially when you're scoring the ball at a decent clip the way they have. I mean, they've done exactly what's necessary to take the lead. Doncic passes to Williams. Back to Doncic. And the rejection by Zubats. George with no one around. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. George has got the lead up to nine now for Los Angeles. They need a good offensive possession. Yeah, they've gone a long time without a buck. And it's Williams throwing it down. I like Doncic's willingness to share the ball. He wants to see other guys involved in producing. Shot and game clock separated by five. George up top. Defended by Jones. And Jones sends it back. Now, here's Doncic. He has five. Misses the layup. Well, you will not see that from him very often, especially right at the rim. And so it's Los Angeles bringing the quarter to a close with a seven-point lead. And you have to credit their defense for the job they've been doing against Irving. Kyrie's been almost invisible out there, and we don't say that very often. And a chance now to send it over to David Aldridge, standing by courtside. David. Here with Ty Lu, good rhythm for your offense in the first half. What did you like about the start? Uh, moving the basketball, taking the right shot, making the right play. We make the extra pass, we're a tough team to beat. And you were sure tough in the first half, Coach. Thanks. Back to you. Thanks so much, Dave, for the great interview. Don't go away, folks. We'll be back for the second half of basketball right after this. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. Ernie Johnson, Shaquille O'Neal, Kenny the Jet Smith. Let's talk about that first half. Right out of the gates, it was the Clippers setting the tone. They showed tremendous effort and drove the action early, starting off with a 9-2 run. They closed the first quarter with a six-point advantage. Then, in a tight battle through the second quarter, they actually extended their advantage a little, heading into the half up by seven. And let us get your thoughts, big fella, on the Clippers. You guys know I appreciate when a team takes a commitment to attack in the painted area. When you get those high percentage looks, good things to the happen. That's how they do this team. Kenny, how do you think Dallas played? They wouldn't be in such a deep hole if they hadn't given up so many offensive rebounds. Getting out hustled, getting moved around, losing possessions. The one thing you can control is effort. <laughs> And that'll do it for our halftime report. Stay tuned for the second half. About to get underway. And we hope you've enjoyed the broadcast so far. We're halfway through the game. You gotta like what Harden has done in this game so far. He's done a fantastic job of finding open space to operate within the first few quarters. You know what? It helped that they had a few guys with very hot hands on the perimeter, too. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. Mavericks trail by seven. The star backcourt of Doncic and Irving are out there. Derek Jones is out there with Williams, and it's Lively in at the center position. That's the lineup in the game for Dallas. Love watching Irving do his work in there. Kyrie's so good and crafty and tight. Harden inside the three-point line. It's rebounded by Doncic. And so Doncic will bring it up for the Dallas Mavericks. And following this one, they will take on the Hornets in New Orleans. And that one will start off a three-game road trip for the team. It's out of bounds. The Mavericks able to retain possession here. By now, I'd send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. We all know Luka Doncic is a master of one-on-one -on -one isolation scoring. Coach Jason Kidd said he knows how to use his body, the angles. Sometimes as a coach, you want to run all these plays, but at the end of the day, it's about getting him the ball with enough time to be creative. 
Kevin? That's right, David. Letting him cook. Thanks for the report. Clippers leading by three. Harden up top. Covered by Irving. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Well, you know, Harden will do that every chance he gets. He cleverly goes into the defender looking for the contact to draw the foul, and nobody does it better. The Clippers shooting their third and fourth free throw shots of the night. Shooting two. And he makes the first. If you want to know how clever Harden is as a player, just take a look at his one-on-one -on -one game, the way he can pretty much beat any defender. Quite impressive. Harden hits them both. Mavericks trail by five. Now, Doncic. Ah, uh, Doncic, very comfortable down low. Luke, a combination of finesse and bully ball in there that time. Passes it to Zubats. He kicks it to Westbrook. That's good on the jump shot. Westbrook's got his first bucket in this one. First minute and a half of basketball here in the third quarter. And here's Doncic from the arc. And it's James Harden with the rebound. Feels to me like this team is going to need more from him, guys. I mean, if they're to erase this deficit, he's got to step up. That was some slick passing from Harden on that one. Mavericks have gone three to five to start the second half, developing a nice rhythm out there. From 11 feet away, good on that shot. And with that, the Los Angeles lead is cut to just five points in the basket from Kyrie Irving. Harden outside. 149 left in the third quarter of the game. Here's Zubats. And the rebound goes to the Mavericks. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. They get the rebound. A shot's good from Irving. Staying aggressive. That helps Kyrie in every aspect of his offensive game. Los Angeles leading by three. Los Angeles calls timeout. Adjustments are a part of the game, and the coach sees something he doesn't like here. And you know what? We'll see what changes he makes coming out of this timeout. So both teams changing it up here. And let's now take a look at some of the numbers for James Harden. One twenty-one left in the third quarter. Here's Highland. No scoring in this one. Here's Leonard. No luck, they battled on the glass, but couldn't knock it down. And the rebound battle split evenly. 
thus far. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Man passes to Highland. Buries the long range jumper. Highland's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And so it's Irving with it, bringing it up for the Dallas Mavericks. They trail by six. Kleba finds Powell. Some nice passing here by Dallas. On its way from Curry for two. Offensive rebound Mavericks. Powell, that's good. Boy, intensity always a good thing, and Powell brings it solid at getting after offensive rebounds for his team. Inside, Highland, and the rejection by Curry. Mavericks have gone 6 of 10 from the field in the third quarter. Irving against Powell. Irving misses. Leonard looking around over Irving. Can't connect from 13 feet out. The third quarter comes to a close. The Clippers on top, up by four. We're back after this from American Airlines Center. And now we have a moment to uh, reveal our State Farm assist of the game. And the definition of teamwork right there, guys. I mean, what great communication between them, and, and what a beautiful feed. For me, next to the big-time alley-oops and monster throwdowns, passes like that are probably the next best thing when it comes to sweet-looking NBA highlights. Three tenths quarters behind us. One more to go. Thanks for being with us as we begin the fourth. And on the floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Out on the wings for him, Powell and George. E.J. Tucker is out there with the Vitsa Zubas. And it's Harden in at the one. Mavericks trail by four. Here's Irving. Plays it up and banks it in. And 12 points for Kyrie Irving. Tonight has been all about Irving. When he's clicking, his offensive game is devastating. Tucker dishes to Harden. An easy two points on the layup. Man, it's fun watching Harden use the pick and roll to his advantage, getting space off the screen and letting it fly with ease. Hardaway passes to Lively. Now Powell, guarded by Tucker. Outside Irving. Fires from deep. Offensive rebound. The shot by Powell, no good. Los Angeles leading by four. The three. And Harden gets it to go in on the assist by George. He has created some terrific opportunities for himself and really made the most of them. And the Mavericks call time here. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high percentage shots. some changes here for the Mavericks. Williams comes in for Dwight Powell. And Doncic is subbed in for Kyrie Irving. Russell Westbrook in for the Clippers. It's time now to hear from our Hall of Fame reporter, David Aldridge. What's the latest, David? Thanks, guys. Well, I got a chance to listen in on what Jason Kidd was talking about with his players. 
you know, he had some pros and cons. He said, I like our play inside. But what's happening at the arc, fellas? We got to start making some shots. He needs more production from the outside. Guys? Thank you, David. First free throw is good. Off on that one, so he goes one for two at the line. And here's George. He'll bring it up for Los Angeles. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to Zubats. Westbrook against Hardaway. Westbrook kicks it to Tucker. Shot clock at six. Williams with the block. And it's out of bounds. They say it was last touch by Williams. Just five to shoot. Westbrook, no good. Mavericks trail by six. Anjic passes to Lively. It's hauled in by Zubats. LA has gone one or two from three point range here in the fourth to the inside. And George with the stuff. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, you make sure to find him. He's a selfless distributor. Dallas now running out of time. Here's Doncic, and he banks in the layup. What a move, showing off the handles there. Los Angeles has gotten a success rate of just over 50% from three-point tonight. Four of seven shooting. Westbrook against Doncic. Count that one, and the Clippers lead by eight. Yeah, you know, Westbrook is dangerous from everywhere, and he seems to be quite comfortable operating in the mid-range, too. Outside, green. Puts up a deep three. Oh, Doncic from I'm way I'm outside. Out. How impressive is Doncic? This guy is incredible at stepping up in big moments. And the Clippers call time here. They're up by five. We've got 128 left in the fourth quarter. Now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, James Harden. Well, you know, it's easy to understand why he's the choice given how well he shot the ball. I mean, just shooting an insane percentage really is what led him to this award. And it's because he was also actively looking to score. He was hunting his shots and was knocking them down. Jones checked in for Josh Green. And over two and a half minutes in the books here in the fourth. And George kicks to Harden. And the three ball is good. Harden's got a pair of threes here in the fourth quarter for the Clippers. Nice job by James Harden knocking that one down, making use of those short corner three-point shooting spots. Outside Hardaway. Out to Doncic. Let's it go from deep. It's hauled in by Zubats. 
Clippers leading by eight. George dishes to Harden. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the content. And Harden is fearless. Awesome at gutting the defense and making them send him to the line. He just knows how to draw fouls and get himself to the strike. Shooting two. First free throw is good, and that will put them up by nine. Kyrie Irving's checked in for the Mavericks. Harden hits them both. The Mavericks have gone three of eight here in the fourth quarter. Irving for three. That's the sixth make from the field. He's taken nine shots and missed but three. Doesn't matter if he's well guarded or not. Kyrie knocking it down from deep. Leonard on the wing. Shoots a fader. Good. Nothing but net. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. Yeah, what a time to put the hammer down. Any hope of a comeback diminished. Count that bucket. And you know, you look at Doncic for a forward, this guy handles the ball extremely well. He's terrific at creating for himself off the dribble. George against Jones. It's Harden with the drive. Count the basket. And the Clippers lead by nine. Watch out now. When this guy gets into a rhythm, it is something to behold. Jones, no luck. Out of bounds. Out of It'll bounds. be Maverick's ball. Curry with it. Takes the three. No good. So the Clippers with the win. They came in here and took care of business like they were the home team. And Ken, how about the mental toughness that this group showed? They, they were never yes. rattled at all by the opposing fans. And now let's go over to David Aldridge from the sideline for an interview with our player of the game. Hey, David. Thanks very much, James. You have seen every type of defense from opponents over the years. What do you enjoy about that back and forth challenge? Just every single game, trying to figure out what they're doing and how can I uh, be aggressive and attack it. You know, I love playing a game of basketball. I love, you know, being crafty and, and just trying to compete at a high level every single night. You know, it takes a lot, but I'm built for it and uh, I'm gonna just continue to keep going. Well, you won the chess match tonight, man. Congrats on the win. Back to you. David, thank you as always. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For Greg Anthony, Clark Kellogg, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for watching the NBA on 2K Sports. We'll see you next time. Have a great evening.